Get some dirt in that All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, yeah, no problem. We're going to throw it at three, okay? And then we're going to do it again. All right. All right. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm morning. Phil Griffin. I'm chairman of the board of the Brock and Redevelopment Authority. I just want to introduce some of our development team. First of all, my fellow board members, Suzanne Fernandez, Gene Marrow, Richard Johnson, and Jerry Smith. Robert Jenkins, the executive director of the BRA. And Rob May, the director of the uh, planning and economic development. And Bob Malley is here somewhere hiding. There he is, right there. I also want to introduce our uh, construction partners, Pink and Company, Colatanio, and Icon. Uh, and with that, I'm going to turn it over to my friend and our mayor, Mayor Bill Carpenter. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. It's great to be here with you, and Governor, welcome uh, back to the City of Champions. Uh, I do have just a couple of quick acknowledgments. Uh, we made the decision early on here, if I try to acknowledge every dignitary here, uh, that will exceed the time limit for the program. But I, I do want to particularly welcome the governor and also Secretary Ash, uh, who are here with us. We've got folks here from Mass Development and Mass Works, and we appreciate uh, their partnership and their commitment to work with us here in Brockton. Uh, members of our state legislative delegation, we've got Senator Brady and Representative Cassidy are both here. And, uh, you know, when, when we see a project like this come to realization, uh, we need the support of the governor and the administration and the secretary uh, to put it in the budget, but we also need our state legislative delegation up on the Hill fighting for us every day to make sure it stays in the budget. So thank you. I know we have members of the City Council, Council Rodriguez, Beauregard, and whoever else I haven't seen, but welcome and thank you uh, for being here. I just want to spend a couple minutes to just really share with you how critical this project site that we're standing on is to the future of the downtown. Um, if we're going to identify one project down here as being the catalytic project, this is it, because this is going to create over 400 parking spaces in the downtown, critically, critically needed. And I've spent years now studying downtowns of other cities similar to Brockton, manufacturing legacy cities that are revitalizing their downtowns. And every single successful turnaround of a downtown I've seen, is that just a little too loud? Let me see what that, every successful turnaround that I've seen has included the construction of at least one parking structure. You've got to build parking up and then develop around it, and that's exactly what this is going to give us uh, the opportunity to do here. All you have to do is look over my shoulders to see some of the opportunities right here. Right at the corner, you can't quite see it, right around the corner is 19 Main Street. The Redevelopment Authority is ready to get that property on the market in the next 30 or 60 days. That property has already got people coming by to look at it and kick the tires because of what's happening here today, because of the promise of parking less than 100 yards away. Uh, behind me is the longtime vacant Petronelli building, and that parcel will now get redeveloped. And then if you look just over here, you see several surface parking lots. And those cars that you see in that lot right now, they'll be coming into this beautiful new garage and those parcels will then be redeveloped for here in the downtown. So just within 100 yards of here, you can see half a dozen future developments that will take place because of the construction of this structure. And this really will create extra capacity at both ends of the downtown because where we do have the existing Adams garage at the other end of the downtown, some of those cars will come up into this new garage and it'll create additional capacity at the other end of the business district also for exciting plans that we have going on down there. So it really fits into the overall vision that we have for downtown Brockton. Um, and, and Governor, you know, this project also is going to allow us to continue uh, with our plans that really align themselves well uh, with your um, housing choice initiative and with smart growth and, and those are at the core of, of everything we're doing down here. You know, the, the rebuilding of downtown Brockton is based upon transit-oriented development. 
There's the train station right there. Not only can you walk to it, you can see it from here. You get on the train right here. It's exactly 30 minutes to South Station. There is no place less expensive to live in Massachusetts today where you can get to South Station in 30 minutes. And that's creating the opportunity for us for market rate and workforce housing here in the downtown bringing people with good jobs and paychecks and disposable income to come choose to live here in downtown Brockton. And I, and I think most importantly, and I know that the Secretary and the Governor want to hear this, is that when the Commonwealth makes this type of investment of public dollars, it only pays off if it leverages private investment to follow behind it. And I can tell you that right now, today, we have 13 projects in the pipeline for downtown Brockton at some stage of permitting, financing, planning, design. 13 projects in the pipeline. So that return on your investment is already coming, Governor. So. I'm pretty sure none of you came to hear me speak today. I'm not the headliner today, uh, but I, I do, uh, it is a great uh, privilege for me to be able to introduce the governor. Um, governor, we appreciate the other commitments that you've made here in the downtown, the great working relationship that we have, not just with you, but the lieutenant governor, the secretary, and uh, all the other folks who work for you. Um, folks need to realize just in these past three and a half years or so, some of the commitments uh, that the Baker Polito administration has made here. Just on the other side of this Trinity building, you see the block of Center Street between W.B. Mason and the Enterprise block here. That was a MassWorks project, over a million dollars to reconstruct that eastern gateway coming into the downtown. There are tens of millions of dollars of investment on both sides of that street, uh, and, and that was a critical project. Uh, we had the district attorney move into new offices directly across the street from the courthouse and make a long-term commitment to be here. Well, that required a commitment of a couple million dollars in, in a supplemental budget, state budget, to make that happen. And that was another key building block for us in the downtown to have that long-term commitment of not just the district attorney, but the 25 state troopers that work with them to have a long-time commitment to work here in the downtown. And perhaps the largest and most important one that we're looking forward to next year is 226 Main Street, uh, known by many of you as the Ganley Building. And that will be a, a $26 million construction project for a new state office building that's scheduled to break ground later next year. So, Governor, thank you for the other investments you've made. Thank you for the commitment to help us get this parking garage done. And it's uh, my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce to you the Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Charlie Baker. So, first of all, good morning, and thank you all for being here. And we are especially excited to be with you all. And But, Mayor, the first thing I have to say is I've probably been in, where did the mayor go? I've probably been in front of, uh, I don't know, a thousand podiums of one type or another over the course of the past few years along with a whole bunch of other dignitaries and other people who've been participating in events of one sort or another. I cannot recall at any time, at any of those events, any speaker who is having trouble with the microphone go. <laughs> is that better? Multitasking. You are a man who can do it all. Um, let me just say, first of all, that the mayor ran through a whole series of uh, my remarks by talking about a lot of the investments and the uh, partnerships that we've established uh, with the city over the course of the past few years under the leadership of uh, the Lieutenant Governor and Jay Ash, who, as many of you know, before he became Secretary of Housing and Economic Development, was the city manager in Chelsea. Um, I had a bunch of people say to me, geez, Jay Ash, Democrat, blah, 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 why did, why, not a business guy, why did you pick him to run your business operation? And the answer was pretty simple. Um, we wanted somebody in that job who had real experience working in 
gateway communities. And over the course of his 15 years in Chelsea as city manager, they did about a billion dollars worth of downtown economic and housing development. And having somebody in that role who could walk the talk with local officials, and especially local officials in gateway communities, was really important to us. And I think a lot of the investments that we've made here have been due to the fact that we have people on our team who understand local government. One of Jay's deputies is Carolyn Kirk, who's the former mayor of Gloucester. Having people like that on our team means they can talk the talk and walk the walk with people when you have conversations about where the best and most significant and highest opportunities are to build momentum and to create opportunity in downtowns. And this project in particular was the result of a whole series of conversations that took place over, I don't know, you guys probably talked for a year, right? Um, and from our point of view, for exactly the reasons the mayor talked about, we felt this was the single biggest opportunity we would have to partner with the city to create a whole series of opportunities around this garage uh, in this downtown and to do it in a way that is completely consistent with our approach to transit-oriented development and our belief that one of the best and most significant things we can do is to bring folks back into many of these downtowns and to do it in a way that works not on top of but in collaboration and cooperation with the folks uh, in that community. And, and Mayor, um, while you talk about it as a as a, as a theoretical opportunity, I can tell you that I was in another gateway community about six weeks ago where somebody was doing a redevelopment project. They were about 25% of the way through it, and it was a big building. It was an old mill building, so they were literally rebuilding and leasing one section at a time, and they had rebuilt several sections of this building. It was 85% rented, market rate and workforce, and almost everybody in that building, the developer told me, was living in that building at a dramatically lower price than they would pay to be in a place like Boston. Many of them worked somewhere in the downtown Boston, Cambridge area, and they were hopping on the train, which was right across the street, which in that case as well, we'd done a mass works project to deal with some of the issues around the street, infrastructure and all the rest. And he was quite sure that over time he would be able to build out the whole building and lease the whole thing out. And, uh, and that is exactly the kind of strategy and approach that I think we are taking in a number of places around Massachusetts. And we are starting to see some of the fruits of that. Um, obviously, there's much more to be done. But for us, uh, this whole notion of establishing partnerships and relationships with our colleagues in local government finding places and opportunities where they and we can leverage each other's assets and resources to make good things happen is exactly what we believe we're supposed to be about as an administration. We think this project has tremendous potential for this community. We're excited to be here to break ground on it, but what we're really excited about is all of the activity that it's going to generate um, because it's coming and once it's here. And, uh, and as I said, it fits perfectly with a lot of the things we're trying to do as an administration especially with, with respect to the strategies we think work best in gateway communities. So this is a great day for Brockton. It's a great day for the Commonwealth. And we look forward to seeing uh, this project uh, deliver on all of the opportunity that we believe is attached to it. And congratulations to the delegation, the city council, and the mayor for all of your hard work and your creativity. And we look forward to working with the folks at the BRA to make this happen. Thank you very much.